Do your parents ever tell you to wash your hands or cover your mouth when you sneeze? But why? What are we washing off? Find out today on BioVox Labs. Hi guys, I'm Emma, and welcome back to BioVox Labs. Today, we're going to be making microbe zoos, which is basically a place where bacteria and fungi can live and grow. So before we start the experiment, we want to make sure all of our materials are ready. But first, wash your hands. No germs yet. Make sure you have a paper towel, your cotton tip applicators, bottle of auger, an oven mitt, and your 10 petri dishes. So bacteria and fungus need food to grow just like we do. So this will be their zoo and the auger will be their food. So we want to take the cap off and microwave it for 30 seconds. Then take it out, swirl it a bit, and then 15 seconds more until it comes to a boil, but make sure it doesn't overboil. Off to the microwave. So now you want to let it cool for about 10 minutes. Place it carefully. Now we're going to set up the 10 Petri dishes. Make sure that the small part is on the bottom. All right, so now we're going to pour the auger into the Petri dishes. However, we just want to fill it so it fills the bottom, and we don't want to open it too much. So now that we poured all them, we're going to let them sit for about an hour to harden and to cool. Then we'll be ready to collect our organisms. So if you're not using these today, you can turn them upside down and put them in your fridge and take them out whenever you're ready. But today, we're going to start collecting our germs. So, start thinking where you want to collect your germs. Under your fingernails, in the air, your dog's water bowl. I know what I'm going to collect. When you know, write it on the bottom of your Petri dish. So, if you want to collect the germs in the air, you open the Petri dish and let it sit for about 30 minutes. If you want to use the germs in your fingernails, you got to get some out. Don't open it all the way, otherwise the air will get in. And streak it in zigzags. If you want to use the germs in your dog's water bowl, I'll be right back. Streak it in zigzags just like the other one. All right, so now you want to let these sit for about three to four days in a warm place and you'll be amazed at what you see. Hey guys, so it's three days later, let's check out our zoos. So when checking out your zoo, it's important not to open it, we just don't want the germs to spread. So this is my air zoo and as you can see, the fungus is pretty fuzzy and most of the other germs have formed colonies, different shapes and sizes. Now this one is my dog's water bowl. As you can see, there's some yellow dots in there. This one is dirt, pretty dirty. And this one are my fingernails. That's not good. Now this one is my teeth. As you can see, there's not much in there, which means I brush my teeth fairly well. I can't wait to see what your zoos look like. Share them on Instagram or email them to us. Now, a couple things to remember. When cleaning up your zoos, it's really important to spray them with a multi-purpose cleaning spray. We don't want those germs spreading. Put them in a Ziploc and throw those away. And lastly, wash your hands. We don't want any germs spreading. Thank you so much for joining me today on our scientific adventure. I can't wait to see the fun experiments you guys do in the future in your bio box. Mm -hmm.